BMW has been making M. M stands for motorsports for over 40 years. It all started back at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 1973 with this 2002 Turbo. Still one of the most desirable vehicles for its proportions, handling, it was way ahead of its time. Not that long ago in 2011, they gave us this beauty over here, which is the BMW 1 M. As you can see, it's very reminiscent of the original 2002. This has become an instant collectible. We're here now for the launch, the international launch of the 2016 BMW M2. This may be the best handling, best driving car that BMW has ever made. We're here at Laguna Seca to give this thing a test, and so far so good. In fact, Haggerty has already said this is going to be a future collectible. The 1M was only available with a six-speed manual. you can get the seven-speed DCT, dual clutch transmission, or standard six-speed manual. It's about a $3,000 option. They're only allowing us to evaluate the, the DCT today. But that's okay, it's a lot of fun and really gives us a chance to focus on the track and how the vehicle behaves. After 24 laps at Laguna Seca with the all-new BMW M2, I can say that it is, in my opinion, on a very short list of track-ready cars I'd buy today for under $70,000. While there are more powerful cars in the price range like the Camaro SS and Mustang GT350R, it comes down to usability and trackability. The 3.0-liter twin-turbo never left me in a state of lag, and some of that has to do with the perfectly made 7-speed twin-clutch that always had me in the right gear. The seats were dialed in just right, and I never gave them a second thought. Most importantly, the steering was precise and seemed to anticipate every turn. Even the mix of organic engine decibels and artificial noise was exceptional, unlike the M4, which sounded more like a video game. 24 laps may not make me an expert, but it did afford me the opportunity to evaluate this M2 at extreme limits, and no matter what I threw at it, this BMW just kept begging for more. Last year, BMW sold 35,000 M vehicles worldwide. 22,000 of those were in the US. Clearly, this is an important market, which is why they chose Laguna Seca. We're right here next to the very famed corkscrew at Laguna Seca, and watching these beautiful M2s roll by. It's been a, an amazing day. Uh, we've had a lot of fun, but let's get down to what's really important. This vehicle starts at around $52,000. I think that's a terrific price. I just got out of an Audi TTS that was $58,000. Nicely equipped. You're looking in the low uh, to mid 60s. We mentioned that the engine is new. It produces 365 horsepower, 343 pound-feet of torque, but 369 pound-feet of torque in overboost mode. 0 to 64.2 seconds, but let's be honest, that's not why people buy this car. Top speed is limited at 155 miles per hour. It's a great powertrain, and this track is very demanding. It really can beat up a car, and these things have been going all week long. Uh, we, the brakes have made some, some noise, and that's because they have the race pads on here. You can get the M compound race pads if you like, if you're gonna do some demanding driving, and you should. This car belongs on the track, and today is a testament to that. The M2 is distinguished from the M235i with a larger intake, and believe me, it needs it. You also have uh, aluminum chassis, uh, aluminum axles, and 19-inch forged aluminum wheels. The DCT, it gets an additional oil uh, cooler. The engineers at BMW went through great lanes to make this vehicle track ready right out of the box. They gave us the keys today to test it and it definitely lived up to uh, our punishment. And believe me, we've been punishing this vehicle. The bottom line is this is an instant classic. The price is right. The form factor is right. If you like the 1M, you'll love the M2. Like I said before, very similar vehicles. Just imagine five years of improvement over that vehicle. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron Doran. We'll see you next time.
on the driver's seat.